Wall Street does not want you to know about AMC stock and its growth potential. They fear it. They fear you buying it. They fear you supporting it. Why? Because they are all short the stock and trapped in their positions. Comment down below why you really think that Wall Street, the mainstream media, and pretty much everyone around us wants us to sell and wants us to get out of this play right now. This ape says a lot of people claiming that CEO Anna Marin is against retail. In my opinion, this guy is putting forth effort that you rarely see from other CEOs. We know there are billions of fraudulent shares circulating. Patience, AMC. So we talked about in a previous video that the most recent FUD campaign is once again spot on to CEO Adam Aaron. It truly seems like the short sellers are running out of ammo, running out of negative news articles and FUD to pin against AMC. Because the reality is, is AMC fundamentally, the numbers are looking much, much better than they were just a few quarters ago, which is obviously exactly what you want when you're invested into a stock. The numbers are increasing, and on top of that, the apes are holding on stronger than ever. This ape says infinite squeeze. They need your shares without your shares. The hedge funds can't close their short positions. Billions of synthetics, allegedly. Liquidation. Transfer of wealth, black swan event, transfer of power. It's inevitable, and it's only a matter of time. Comments down below if you agree. AMC shorts are realizing that bankruptcy is off the table. For a long time now, they've been attacking Adam Aaron, hard using the legal manipulative price to try and get the apes to turn. That's their last hope. So division amongst apes. We've seen it before. Just be aware of it. That's all. Very well said. This ape says, keep focused and your eyes on the prize, AMC. And a lot of good vibes in this post. It says the money is coming. The new car is coming. The new home is coming. The breakthrough is coming. The financial freedom is coming. The new business is coming. Comment down below what else is coming ahead for us. Because I promise you, there's a lot of good things to be excited about. This ape says, math isn't math in our corner of the stock market. And it sure doesn't seem like it at times. They said AMC is the first stock in history where 80% of the float is locked, meaning that 80% of the float is owned by retail investors or more. And for the most part, the holders are just continuing to hold their shares. They're not really trading them. For me personally, I haven't sold a single share of AMC that I've owned since I bought my first share years ago. Now on top of that, 40% is on loan, 25% is shorted, and 50% is in fails to deliver. And it's oversold. If you take it all into consideration, this play does seem more and more bizarre by the day. It seems to be that there's some massive manipulation going on, and hopefully only a matter of time until this whole thing gets sorted out. Taylor Swift at AMC is an absolute game changer. Now, a lot of apes are saying that this is going to be the singular thing that's going to take AMC to new levels. And although I definitely think that it's going to be a massive part of it, I still think that there's still so many aspects to AMC fundamentally and all the new business and revenue streams that are also going to take AMC to new heights. And I do think that over time, all the kinks will be worked out. But comment down below if you personally agree with a lot of other apes that think that this Taylor Swift partnership with AMC is going to be what it takes to get AMC to brand new levels. Make sure to check out all these other videos to catch up on all the latest AMC stock DD and information you need.